Welcome to Celebrating God's Grace, a Women World Leaders podcast. I'm your host, Rosanne Carroll, born in Louisiana, USA, now living in Australia. This is a podcast that comes to you through a women's global ministry, Women World Leaders. The Women World Leaders ministry began about four years ago with people gathering in a home, studying and discussing the Word of God. As followers of Christ, we are commissioned with the call to go out into the world and share the gospel to the entire human race. We may be called to go and influence our friends, families, and children. We may be called to go into our communities, and we may be called to go into other nations. God's power and desire to reach the ends of the earth is evident in what He has done through this beautiful ministry and the women of God who serve here and the supporters who give, whether in donations, love gifts, and prayer. We appreciate it all. We are privileged here at Women World Leaders that he's called us to be his army in sharing the love and grace message of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we celebrate and are constantly amazed that he is allowing us to reach the globe Thanks to all of you that listen and support us. I hope you're well and blessed and enjoy this time that we have together. And if you believe this message will speak to someone you know and help support and encourage them, we ask that you share it. We are called in the body of Christ to uplift and support our brothers and sisters. Each week we bring you podcasts where we share women's testimonies, have teaching in the Word, And today, our segment of Celebrating God's Grace, I'd like to speak to you about faith. What a big subject, and so much we could delve into. But for today, I want to look at how we're never alone and how we have supernatural support. We must believe, even when we are walking through the most horrific trials. I didn't say it was easy, but it is possible with God. Hebrews 11.6 in the translation, the Passion Translation, tells us that without faith living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who passionately seek Him. Verse 7 says that faith opened Noah's heart to receive revelation and warnings from God about what was coming, even things that hadn't even been seen yet, for rain had not even come upon the earth. Wow! He worked diligently for several decades, building what God had told him without even really knowing what it was for exactly. How many people would have possibly ridiculed him, even made fun of him? What in the world is this guy doing building this huge construction? What a waste of time and effort, they might have said. I'm sure he might have had moments. He may have questioned, what am I doing? But he focused on God and was obedient to what God had asked of him. Will we be? He was faithful. Genesis 6.22 says Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Sometimes it may be really difficult to hear what God is telling us to do. This is where it's important to be in God's Word every day. He's always speaking to us. We must often take time to just be still and hear and trust His timing to what He brings us and what He wants to tell us. The greatness of faith is not to be judged by how many of God's promises that we receive, or a great wealth, or even health that we experience. The greatness of faith is shown in proportion to how long we can wait for the fulfillment of a promise. 
Greatness of faith is not proven in what we receive, but in how long a person can wait without wavering to receive. Many things in our lives have come or not come to pass that our heart so desperately desires. It may be a healing for ourselves or a loved one. It may be a healing for a broken relationship or marriage or seeing those that we love and care about being saved and living a life for Christ. Waiting and waiting and wanting and wishing things would happen. How do we passionately seek Him? How do we ride the course of faith, especially when things aren't going as we would desire and life's battles just continue to come from every direction? How do we remain faithful servants? And faith seems to come pretty easy when things are going well. It's when life gets tough and challenging and our faith is tested. Those are the times that can be so, so trying. This year in particular, 2022, it seems to me that a lot of people are going through some really heavy things. Many that I talk to are dealing with quite tough situations in their life and the lives of their loved ones, including myself right here and right now. And I think that's why God prompted me by His Holy Spirit to speak about faith this podcast. As I've gotten older and experienced life as a follower of Christ, I believe you start to realize, yes, it's about faith, but it's really about remaining faithful no matter what the world throws at you. Nothing in life remains the same, and there are seasons of many highs and lows. And these seasons are not like the ones that we experience on earth where they're coming three-month periods through the year. Some of the tough seasons can last much, much longer than we desire. But keeping our eyes on the founder and perfecter of our faith, that's what it's about. It's taking that course in faith every day. Hebrews 12, verses 1 to 3 in the Passion Translation says, As for us, we have all of these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds, So we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin we so easily fall into. Then we'll be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination for the path has already been marked out for us. We look away from the natural realm. We focus our attention and expectation onto Jesus who birthed faith within us and who leads us forward into faith's perfection. His example is this, because his heart was so focused on the joy of knowing that we would be his, he endured the agony of the cross and conquered its humiliation. And now, praise God, sits exalted at the right hand of the throne of God. So consider carefully how Jesus faced such intense opposition. He's our example. God will never abandon you or abandon me. We are to be hopeful while waiting. Waiting is tough. I teach kids online courses, and they're not very good at waiting. And it's a constant reminder for me, waiting is not fun. But we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. People are cheering us on. I recently attended some biblical training. And the pastor, teacher of over 40 years in ministry, he had tons of stories to share. And one of them that he shared has just stuck with me. And I just can't help but continue to reflect on it. He was in his office one early morning making these last minute preparations for notes for a wedding that he would perform later that day. A wedding. I mean, that's such a glorious and happy celebration of two people so much in love. Not many things are more beautiful than celebrating the union of two people in love and embarking on life together. And the phone rang. And as he picked it up, the voice on the other end delivered <clears throat> excuse me, some very devastating news of the death of a young man. A member of the church that he pastored had been killed in a car accident. And it was the young son of a dear friend. He was devastated. 
but he knew he had to be the one to tell the family. So he got in the car and he drove to his friend's home. And his friend's wife opened the door welcoming him, saying, What are you doing here? You should be preparing your message. And he smiled and received the invitation to take a seat, wait on her husband, who would be returning any minute. When his friend walked in the door, he greeted the pastor, his friend, and said something similar to his wife that had said, What are you doing here? You've got a wedding at church tonight, right? You should be doing that. What are you doing here? And he just looked at him and he said, I have some very sad news. Your son was in a car accident a few hours ago and has died. What happened next, the pastor said, would stay with him forever. His friend, the father of the son, or the father of the boy who had unexpectedly died that day, dropped to his knees and said, you are a faithful God and I will trust you. I will praise you through it all. Let us pray. Lord, it is troubling times that we live in at the moment. And there are many of us that are going through extremely difficult situations. But your word promises us that you are a faithful God and you watch over us. Even when we're sleeping, Father, you're watching over us. And we thank you for that. We're not alone, even if we feel like we're alone. You will work all things for good. Let us be a faithful, faithful people. No matter what is thrown our way, God, let us stop. And the scripture that we know or that we've learned or that's embedded in our hearts, let us turn to your word, God. And no matter what, let us look to you because knowing you'll get us through this, you're a good father. It's not about all the promises that we receive. It's about never wavering. We have a great cloud of witnesses that are there and, 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 and spectators as we walk through this life. It's not so much about what life is doing to us, but it's about what life is doing for us. So let us be those people that are enduring, that never waver, that keep our eyes on you the finish line you were standing at to grab us and hold us and cheer us on and and knowing that we've done it with you, God. So I just thank you for this time together. I pray for everyone that listens to this podcast. May they just sit in your presence, praise you through everything, and know that you are a loving, faithful God. Thank you for listening to WWL's podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com. You can submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by WWL and cannot be used without written consent.